Hello, calculus students. Here we're looking at section 1.1, uh, introducing calculus, can change occur at an instant? So in this problem, we're looking for the instantaneous rate of change. That means the rate of change exactly at one point, and that's at the exact value of t equals 2. In order to estimate the instantaneous rate of change of this um, population of bears in this national park, we're going to go back and look at what you guys learned in Algebra 1, and that's called the average rate of change. Uh, the average rate of change, as you guys all know, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, in our problem, it's just a little bit different notation. Uh, we're going to have um, p of t sub 2 minus p of t sub 1. Divide that by t sub 2 minus t sub 1. We just have to figure out what values we're going to use for the t sub 1 and the t sub 2. Uh, since we're trying to find the instantaneous rate of change at 2, uh, we're going to pick values of t that are very, very close to 2. Um, and we're going to go on either side of 2. And let's choose uh, our first one, t sub 1, to be 1.9. And we'll stay symmetrically on the other side. We'll let t sub 2 be 2.1. So graphically, what we're doing here is we have this curve. And we're trying to find the instantaneous rate of change exactly at 2. And we're going to do so by looking at the average rate of change between 1.9 and 2.1. The average rate change being just the slope between these two points. We're now looking at the trying to estimate the instantaneous rate change here at 2 by looking at the average rate change over the interval. Well my denominator is pretty simple. My denominator is just the difference of the, the values of t that we chose, and that would be 2.1 uh, minus 1.9, or well, my denominator is just 0.2. The numerator is going to be a little more difficult to calculate since we're dealing with this logistic function. So we're going to use our calculator uh, to help us find those, uh, those function values. So looking at my y equals, I have the equation in my y equals. Now we're going to go to the home screen. And now we're going to evaluate the function y1 at our 2.1. And then we're going to subtract the function value at 1.9. This gives me a nice quick way of finding the difference of the y values which ends up being 0 0.2700 approximately. And then now we're going to divide by the difference of our t's, or difference of our x's if you want to call it, of 0.2. And we have an estimate for my instantaneous rate of change to be approximately 1.35.